For many of us watching from the outside, Mail Sayu are incredibly busy, and given how nowadays fans overreact or misunderstand even the slightest detail, you wouldn't be wrong to assume that most Sayu want to stray away from making jokes on April Fools to avoid raging fans. But what happens is quite the opposite, for the most part. Some say you are full on board with jokes and fans actually look forward to such pranks. At the same time, there are say you that love to make their fans suffer during April Fools by making serious announcements in a oddly joking tone, only for those to be real most of the times. With April Fools just around the corner, let's check the times in which some of your favorite male Sayu perhaps took things a little bit too seriously or even went all out to fool us all. Let's kick off this episode of Sayu Lounge. <laughs> Welcome to Sayu Lounge, I am your host Vanessa and today's topic is 5 April Fool's Pranks by Male Sayu that were a bit too crazy. April Fool's, the day in which Male Sayu tend to go a bit crazy or insanely creative for their own amusement. There are Male Sayu that love to spread chaos and announce important things on this day there are others that embrace an elaborate persona they created just for this day. And then, well, there are those that are easily caught in their April Fool's pranks. I must say that I never report any news on April Fool's because I cannot trust Sayu nor some music labels or 2D music projects on this day. I, I just can't. And that's because I've more than once doubted the truth or lie about some of the April Fool's pranks made by Sayu. Still, I end up having fun with some crazy shenanigans, some quite elaborate, that some male Sayu have pulled off over the years. In this episode, let's check five of those times in which pranks turned into reality or pranks made us wish that what was happening was actually reality. Let's check them out. Junta Terashima's persona, Junta. The king of April Fools among male Sayu is undoubtedly Junta Terashima. For those of you that may not be aware of it, Junta Terashima is a talented Sayu and solo artist with a keen sense for singer songwriting. He has an active solo career, although he is quite underappreciated. If you can, do check his CD releases because he's got a lot of talent to give. And why am I telling you this? Because he puts his skills to test every year with unique crafty tunes for April Fools. But let me introduce you to the elaborate April Fools gimmick he created. If you want to have a good time during this day, you have to follow him on Twitter to experience what he pulls off every year, getting increasingly more crafty as years go by. In 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic and while everyone in the world was in lockdown, Junta Terashima decided to make April Fools memorable for his fans, providing a bit of joy in such a dark time. As such, he created a persona for the perfect, delicate, yet quite keen on alcoholic beverages idol, Junta. And since then, he has run with this persona every time April Fools arrives. And what is so amazing about this persona? More than the persona itself is the thought put into fleshing it out. Junta Terashima went as far as dressing up as a woman, sporting a fancy wig, using short skirts and even singing in a higher tone than usual. Must I remind you that he is a baritone, so the voice transformation is quite impressive. Even down to the way he interacts on social media with fellow Sayu. So he molded everything around this persona and he proudly runs with it every year. 
Junta has turned into one of the highlights of April Fools among male Sayu due to how much thought was put into it. At the same time, everyone looks forward to watching the hilarious full music videos that Terashima shot for his songs that he composed and wrote lyrics for that show Junta indulging in her passion, alcohol, while showing how she can be a strong yet delicate woman at the same time. If this sounds crazy to you, then wait no further as in 2022, Shunichi Toki, fellow Seiyu and close friend of Terashima's, decided to stop making fun of Junta and embraced a transformation and made the debut with a duet song as Junta and Pigumi. If you love elaborate April Fool's jokes, then you must be on the lookout for what Junta Terashima does next as his pop idol persona, Junta. Shunichi Toki, a generational talent. Well, since a couple of years ago, Shunichi Toki has been challenging himself on April Fool's to embrace a new persona in different music eras or even with different music genres. Toki's pranks are quite elaborate as he goes as far as taking promotional photos, record a snippet of a song, perform in a specific style that goes from 80s city pop to traditional Enka, and even down to the way he talks and replies to fellow Seiyu on Twitter. In 2020, Shunichi Toki announced on his personal Twitter account that he was making his debut as an Enka singer under the stage name Masaru Shoujo. Alongside that announcement, Toki released a short music video for his debut song, Shoujo Biori, and believe it or not, but Pony Canyon went on board with the joke and created cover art designs for the cassettes that would be released. A year later, Toki went for yet another transformation this time embracing an 80s J-pop artist persona and making a debut under the stage name Akairu Gimbai, with the song Go Relight. And yes, there was an official video release that featured previews of the cover art for the single, including its cassette and LP versions. There is a lot of thought put into his April Fool's gimmick, however, worlds collided in 2022 when he teamed up with the King of April Fools among my LCU, Junta Terashima. So, in 2022, Shinichi Toki went way beyond changing music eras or music styles. He created a persona and made a debut as a female artist. After being an Inca singer in 2020 and an 80s J-pop singer in 2021, Shunichi Toki joined Junta Terashima's Junta and turned into the female idol Pigumi. Uh, not only appeared in his female idol getup, from makeup to the wig and clothes, but he also sang with a delicate, high feminine voice tone alongside Junta Terashima. To top it all off, Toki fully embraced his female idol persona and interacted with everyone on April Fools in an incredibly different way of writing and usage of emojis. You can tell he takes this season pretty seriously given how he has went this far just to put a smile on his fans' faces. Sir Vanity's debut the announcement was made on April Fool's and basically no one was believing their own eyes when they found that Yoshiki Nakajima and Yuichiro Mehara, who is basically not that active on social media, tweeted about a band they had founded on that day. For those familiar with Yuichiro Mehara's thoughts about becoming a singer or venturing to a solo career, this announcement sounded completely bogus. No way Umehara, that mentioned countless times he was not interested in singing, would end up joining a band and sing. And yet, here we are, a couple of years later, basking on how much Umehara improved as a singer, as well as how he is also a lyricist and Sir Vanity is quite possibly one of the best male CU fronted bands to grace us all in the past decade. 
the odd timing for the announcement and how professional everything about the band looked like, from the photos to the lineup and even the serious tone with which everything had been handled, threw fans completely off, well, including myself. Only in the day after April Fools did the band confirm that yes, they were a thing and yes, they were serious about it. Amadeus debut. Also in the same style comes the debut of Amadeus, EDM group consisting of Shunsuke Takeuchi as Jack Westwood and Lotus Juice. The group announced their debut on April Fools, sparking a wave of doubt and confusion among Takeuchi's fans that couldn't believe what was being announced. The duo didn't say much during April Fools, only confirming their official debut the day after and matching it up with a Q&A on Twitter. Since then, the group has released multiple digital singles and performed at small venues in Japan while remaining an underground EDM act. You make goes... Um, visual K. So, when you think of You Make, you think of wholesome, semi-acoustic pop rock music with two sweet voices leading the way. Yet in 2021, You Make went dark for April Fools. The duo was reborn as a Visual K band, releasing their first single, Insomnia, on streaming services in Japan on the same day. And let me tell you that the single was bloody amazing. If you had been craving for faster, dramatic rock coming from Kentito and Yoshiki Nakajima, this certainly felt like more than a treat. The high quality in the music and performances is ridiculous. While other Seiyu released short songs just to tease their fans, You Make really went and created a full song in Visual K style, released it and they rocked. To top it all off, the duo teamed up with Yuki Honda, who is basically Soma Saito's longtime stylist and occasional stylist for other 81 produced talents, to craft a genuine visual K style and makeup that made a lot of people think that maybe, just maybe, this was for real and you make was really shifting their sound, which would have been awesome. All of these made Yumake's visual K transformation and renewed image slightly more believable than any of the prank projects to this date. Fans got a genuinely good song and Yumake got to enjoy their fans' reactions at the same as they didn't take themselves seriously. That's a win-win in my books. These were just some out of the various pranks, announcements or special features that Mail Seiyu have managed to pull off in recent years. Some of these were extremely elaborate, creating personas, composing music and creating all the shebang around it to sound like they are real, while others don't really worry about all that and simply announce something important on a day in which barely anyone believes what is being announced. And taking into account the entries in this episode, it is safe to say that Yoshiki Nakajima has a weird, almost sadistical sense of humor. Always being part of pranks that are way too good to not be something real, or making really serious announcements at such an odd date. That's how out of the box his humor is, yet another point that makes him quite the funny guy. At the same time, fun is best had with friends, something that Junta Terashima and Shunichi Toki have been showing since 2020 for every April Fool's prank. For two years straight, they transformed into their personas and made fun of each other. In 2022, the worlds collided and they joined hands for one of the most surprising and hilarious pranks of the day. Humor and creativity play a big role into these pranks and announcements, and one thing is for certain. Every year, fans anticipate April Fools 
to check which crazy thing their favorites are going to do to fool everyone or just to have fun together. Now tell me, which was the prank or announcement made by Mail Say You that surprised you? Let me know in the comments on YouTube and remember, leave your comments as complex or as simple as they may be and you can be featured on upcoming episodes of Say You Lounge. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this episode and don't want to miss the hand that feeds HQs, weekly mail say you, and music related content. I'll return next week with another episode of Say You Lounge. Thank you for listening and see you guys around. Bye.